Hello, I'm back. This is an old recording of me fixing the EIK repository for the EIK v4 version, as it split the login methods into the connect interface and the auth interface. I might make a video about those, but here I'm just showcasing how it was fixed. Again, this is an old video, and I'm just now doing a voiceover for it. Soon, I will be back with a new tutorial series, so stay tuned and hit the subscribe button. Here, I tried to launch the game to get the blueprints we need to fix, but for some reason, it didn't show me the blueprints with errors, so I just manually found them and opened them. Fixing Need Game Instance in the Login Widget The login using EIK is gone, so we need to use different nodes and different enums. We are using the account portal and persistent authentication as login methods, which are now part of the login using the auth interface. Currently, the login method is broken, so we need to use the correct one. It's a login credential type enum. Here, we will change login method enumerator to that. Now it fits the credential type. Now we can reconnect all the nodes. The project ID is now in a structure, so we need to break it and set the product user ID. Reconnect every pin for success, failure, and error. Now we get an error because we converted the wrong enum to a string. Now everything is good, but we need to rework the interface because it also uses the wrong login method enum. Make sure you are using the credential enum, not the other enum for the connect interface. Now we need to refresh the nodes and change the login method to persistent. And if it fails, then we use the account portal. Now it seems everything is fixed. Here. We need to do some additional work as well. I was a bit rusty after summer break, so I was double checking and rechecking because the device ID is now in the login using the connect interface. Here it is. Now we need to create a Boolean. We can use this Boolean to determine whether to use the connect interface with the device ID or to log in with authentication interface. If false, we use the authentication interface, and if true, we use the connect interface to log in with the device ID. Now I'm just copying nodes for the device ID branch. There could be a smarter way to do it, but I just wanted to be done with it and push the fix to the repository.
Next, we need to add the Boolean to the interface. We need to refresh the nodes, and for the login using device button, we set true to login with the device ID, and for persistent button, we keep it false. Here we have a broken enum again, as it have just byte type, so we need to refresh it to use the credential type. This breaks our set login method. I deleted the variable because as I was constantly trying to change it to new type, it crashed my engine. So it's better to just make new one. Use a variable type string, convert it into a map and use the credential type enum. Now we can use this variable to set the default values we used in the selection. Here we don't have enum for device ID. We use the device code, and we will do an enum switch for when device code will be used, we use device ID instead. Here we will switch on the enum. If the enum has the right value, we will use the persistent and account portal login methods. And if it's the device code, we will use the device ID login. Here I am testing the login, but it didn't work because I didn't know that you have to have set display name value for the device ID now. This is long process of trying to find what's wrong sped up. I found the reason. Like I said, now display name value can't be empty. And not used in any way for now, 
but Epic promises it will be of use one day. Now, everything works. But now, editor tells there is issue with lobby browser widget. Let's fix it. An EIK v4 find session node was fixed because it was using names for session settings, but all the other nodes were using strings. We need to change everything accordingly. Here we there adding setting keys of name type, but now we don't need to use names and convert them from strings. We can just change them to strings and all will be good. Sometimes the editor bugs out and don't let you delete the nodes. Trying to compile fixes it. Now we have no errors. Everything works, but I want to show you one bug I noticed. If you go to search lobbies, open join via ID, close it, and quit the game, you will see this. This is an easy fix. Go to the menu prompt widget. And here copy with input variable with set visibility node and after branch put behind false pin and set to collapsed. Now it's fixed. This video is long overdue. I wasn't using Unreal for two months during the summer break so I was a bit rusty but hopefully I will return with new energy. I have one tutorial series in the works, which I hope to reveal this week or next week. See you then.